Hello, Oz Du Soleil here with a question from Kat about adding uh, new entries to a table. Now, first of all, let me share about tables. Now, I've set up a little spreadsheet here just for this demonstration. Very simple. So we have a state deadline, warning one, warning two, and Illinois, we're saying that the deadline is January 12th. And we have a formula in here showing that warning one will be 10 days prior to the deadline and warning two will be three days prior to the deadline. So we have a formula here and then hard coded data here. Let's go to Wisconsin and say 14 Feb 13 is the deadline. The formulas don't come down. We can do this and this. And if we're dealing with all 50 states, then that's going to get old unless we want to enter all 50 and then drag that down. But what we can do is turn this range into a table. So I highlight that area, insert table and it asks me where's my table of course there it is and the table does have headers okay there we go now watch what happens let's see we do Georgia the table automatically encompasses Georgia now we're ready for the deadline and our formula is ready let's say 12 Jan 13 there we go Georgia let's say uh, Massachusetts ah it's grabbed it already say um 30 Jan of 13 great now here is a problem that you have to watch out for with tables so see Massachusetts is line five. I am at line seven and I'm going to say Florida and one March 13. The table did not stretch down. Huh? OK. Let's look at Louisiana. And then let's say uh, 15 March 13. It grabbed Louisiana and Florida is still just hanging out there. Now let's go to Vermont 18 July 13. It's not taken. All right, so we look like we've broken the table. But what we do is we grab this corner and bring it down and the table is functioning again. Let's test it out. Let's go um, South Carolina, 12 February 13. We're good. We are good. Iowa, 11 Jan 13. We're fine. So that that's a basic use of a table in Excel and how they can be used and you can imagine if you had you know lots of columns not just four and some of them had formulas in them you wouldn't have to you know do that standard thing where you grab the corner and drag down you can put this in a table but you do have to be wary of not entering data that's out, that's um, not adjacent to the table itself. So you can even do something like this and say warning three. Okay, it grabbed that. Good. So let's say warning three is going to be equal to that minus one. Okay, it did it. All right, so that's uh, the amazing thing about tables. You just have to be careful about them and know where they can break down. So thanks a lot, Kat, for your question, and please send in more questions.